Welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the loop section. This is lesson six, while loops. Awesome job. For loops are great, but they have a limitation. You have to know how many times you want the loop to run. What if you want a loop to run an unknown or variable number of times instead? For example, if we have a deck of cards and we want to flip cards, loop a card flipping function, until we get a spade, how could we write that in JavaScript? That's the purpose of the while loop. It looks similar to a for loop. Check it out. While condition is true, execute this block of code. And this code block will loop until condition is false. So one, the loop begins with the keyword while. Two, inside the parenthesis, we can insert a condition. As long as the variable evaluates to true, the block of code will loop. Inside the code block, we can write any code we'd like to loop. Instructions. One. Let's write a program that flips cards until we get a spade. Start by creating a variable named cards and set it equal to this array. So first bar cards is assigned an array which contains diamond, spade, heart, and club. Run that. Second Right under the array, create a variable named current card, set it equal to heart. So var current card is going to be assigned heart. This variable will hold the name of the card we just flipped. We're using heart as the first card. Okay, and run that. Third, it's saying let's utilize a while loop to do two things. If the current card is not a spade, then add a console.log to print the value of current card. So we're going to make a while loop. Condition is going to be current card not equal to spade. Then we want it to do console.log and print the value of current card. Then create a random number between 0 and 3 and put it in a variable named random number. So if you guys don't know how to do the random number, I think they explain here, which is var random number. And we assign to it math.floor with math.random multiplied by 4. So just for clarification, math.random will produce a number between 0 and 1, not including 1. So what we're doing here is then multiplying by 4. So we'll always get back a number between 0 and like 3.999 infinity or so. And then we just floor that number, whatever it is. It could be 0, 1, 2, 3, but never including 4. So if it's 3.87, it'll go to 3. If it's 2.81, it'll go to 2, and so forth. So we would always get a number here, either 0, 1, 2, or 3. And we're going to save that into random number whenever random number is called. Then it says, then use a random number to reassign current card to a new card from the cards array. So then use random number to reassign current card. So we're going to get current card and reassign to it a random number from cards array. So cards array and we'll add into it random number because we want to target within our array one of these random indexes 0, 1, 2, or 3. And this will keep running until we land with index one which will return spade and when returning spade we'll stop executing our while loop so let's run this now as you guys can see here in the console we got heart the first time because it's always going to be heart the first time and then it goes through the loop one time and it console.logs club because our random generator generated a three which printed the third index in cards, which was club. And then the third time, it must have gave us a random number of one because it stopped the loop. 
4. Outside of the while loop on the last line of the program, use console.log to log that the program found a spade. So if we go here and just console.log found spade. And it says run the code a few times to see the output changing. You can see the while loop guessing a card, then seeing if it is a spade over and over until it finds one. So now if I run this, you guys can see the first time, of course, it was heart. The second time, it was also heart. The third time, it was also heart. And then it finally found spade. So random number was uh, two, two, and then one. If we run this one more time, again, we can see all the instances it went through until finally arriving at spade. We can continue doing this. So that is while loops in Learn JavaScript's loop section. While loops are awesome when you don't know the exact number of times you want a loop to run and when you want your loop to run a variable number of times. And that is it for this lesson.